high energy density is exactly what it sounds like, trying to put a lot of energy in a very small volume. And lasers are unique because it's very easy to take large amounts of energy and deposit them in a teeny tiny small volume. HED physics allows us to better understand planetary formation, the inner workings of the sun, as well as weapon science applications. Equation of state is a measurement of how material behaves at high pressures and temperatures. There are many different ways to measure the equation of state. For many decades, people have used very large gas guns and shot projectiles at very fast velocities. The NIF is unique because we can use the laser, and if we carefully tune how we deliver the laser energy as a function of time, we can study how the material compresses on ultra-fast timescales. The processes that we talked about earlier, the formation of planets, we can model those processes, but in order to model them accurately, we need an accurate understanding of how material behaves at those extreme conditions. Ramp compression is the process of generating a series of compression waves within a sample such that you do not generate a shock wave. It's quite difficult to do. There are very few facilities in the world that can do it, and it's the precision of the NIF laser that allows us to do it here at Livermore. So the NIF allows us to create very extreme exotic states of matter quite easily. And because of the wonderful pulse shaping capability we have on the NIF, we can do very special tailored experiments that we call ramp compression to try to understand how material compresses if done rather gradually. So HED experiments, again, try to deliver a large amount of energy into a small volume. So we're forced to use very small targets. For ramp compression experiments, we use precision machine targets. So these targets are thinner than a hair on your head. And if you take that hair, we actually diamond turn into that hair a series of steps four small steps. And the surface roughness of these steps are 50 nanometers. So it's ultimately a stair step profile in a piece of hair in some sense that we're experimenting on in the NIF. Prior to having a facility like the NIF, a lot of our early theories were untested. Now with this work, we're able to examine some of those theories. We're finding some of them are incomplete and we're developing um, new theories and models that are in better agreement with the measurements that we're making on the NIF. So in general, we're improving our fundamental understanding of how matter behaves at such extreme conditions.